Alright, so we are back for another review and today we have a really exciting product. This is a 10 Hi-Fi and usually I'm always looking forward to reviewing 10 Hi-Fi's because they do play around with their tunings. Um, always nice to see um, how they tune their stuff, um, especially moving forward. And now this is the P1 Max, the third iteration of the P1. Actually here in the channel, we did have the P1, the P1 Plus and now the P1 Max. And actually as you can see from the title, um, this is actually my favorite p1 um this is the best tuned um p1 for me and the best um sounding as well however i do have some gripes here and uh, we're going to talk about that in this video so looking at the build quality overall um this is the most different on um, p1 because the p1 and also p1 plus is in the metal housing so um actually always they have used that same metal housing but now it's a resin plastic and uh, actually no fins whatsoever so this does remind me of the t3 plus in the build quality um but uh you are not getting that fins here so this is a bit more safe um design let's say actually this is in the bigger side as well of this um you know type of shape so this is a bit bigger compared to maybe your kz's your trns of the world but, but still on the ear um it's nice uh fitting on the ear for me so stability is quite good especially with that ear hooks also the isolation as well above average here um blocks out most of the noise however comfort um takes a hit on this because this is in the bigger side of this shape so you will feel um the fit on this um on the ears so for long listening sessions you might need to adjust it from time to time so next um let's go to the sound and as you guys can see from the title um this is my favorite p1 so for me i'm um, the best tuned um, p1 here so for me um compared to the other p1s um the top end is the most controlled in this iem and also the bass as well um pretty flat in the overall presentation so compared to the other ones that are sometimes too elevated or sometimes too um recessed in the mix but this is um flat in the overall presentation and that's definitely welcome for me and the top end as well it's the most tame out of the bunch um, if you look at that 12k so um this is the most tame i'm um, the most reduced i'm um, out of all the bunch the new year's too neutral in terms of the presentation in the top end compared to the other p ones and as you guys can see um in around 2k um you are not getting that dips that you are getting before in the p1 the original version and uh, you are not getting that 12k that uh big rise in the 12k in the p1 plus and the p1 um, original as well so yeah this is the most refined um, p1 for me but definitely this is still a very 10 audio kind of sound you are getting that bright neutral presentation here i'm um, slight dip at around 2.5k and you're getting that um, elevation still at around 12k so this is still a bright um iem through and through so actually the tuning here reminds me of maybe the 10 t3 um the older version the non plus version so it has some similarities here um overall but definitely that um you know flatter bass response here is uh, a bit different compared to other 10 hi-fis that we have seen so i'm um, very welcome upgrade here i'm um, in the 10 p1 max so going to the sound quality um overall the sound is really tight here so very plain our kind of sound fast and also great micro detail overalls and also for me yes um tuned nicely compared to other p1s and uh, here actually the first thing that uh, i noticed here is how nice the bass is so definitely this is my favorite bass out of all the p ones here the bass is uh, just right and it has enough slam so the trademark planar slam is definitely right here and it's done nicely for me it's still more of a, an engaging presentation for me this is not going to be your mastering mixing type of pair um this is not a boring pair at all so very engaging to listen to going to the bass um this is definitely the highlight for me of the p1 max if you are a fan of a planar bass um you will love the presentation here so um it's in your face um deep um sub bass as well maybe a hint of elevation for me in the mix but uh, not that much this is definitely not a bass head pair for me um no mid bass bleed as well um definitely substantial in the mix um this is not an anemic bass so the bass is just right in the overall presentation for me and more in the engaging side of presentation as well so i rated the bass here really highly so this will definitely be a bit different compared to your usual dynamic drivers your usual bas so really nice here um overall and uh, it's also fast as well so um being a planar um type of presentation this is definitely gonna be faster compared to your other drivers so uh, for double pads um triple pads um it can resolve it nicely so you're getting that 
impact of a planar but with the advantages of having more speed in the presentation going to the mids um the mids is um slightly recessed for me in the mix it's more in the clean side of presentation as well so um it's not as in your face as the bass here so for me the vocals is um slightly in the background um there's ample micro detail for sure because of that um planar presentation so for some vocals um the raspiness in the vocals um can be gathered um can be resolved uh, it's definitely nice also no shout tennis for me in sight um this is one of the more tame um tin high fights that i have seen so for both a male and female vocals so definitely tame in the overall presentation um however for me in my personal preference i find the vocals to be a bit thin for my liking and maybe a bit too recessed for my liking as well so uh, i'm a vocal head and um, you know i like my vocals and uh, for me the vocals here the presentation i'm looking for a bit more body maybe better positioning in the vocals here so definitely for vocal heads um this won't be your pick so for me um the mids is the weakness for me of the p1 max going to the top end um so this is a very thin audio top end um definitely well extended you are getting that 12k um you're getting that um 6k um 8k elevation on top so definitely there's some shine there's some shimmer here in some tracks as well and also yes forward in the mix so for some cymbals for some guitars um this definitely resolves it really nicely so for some jazz um, acoustic guitars for some um rock tracks um this resolves it uh, really nicely here however for me um one downside for me here is yes you're getting that extension however um it still has that peakiness um in the presentation here and it's lacking some body in some cymbals um so i'm um, not all tracks but as on some cymbals um it can be peaky or a bit thin for me to listen to in the cymbals so like for example and that's what you get by paramore so the the symbols uh has a bit maybe a um, thin presentation for me so it's lacking a bit of body for me so on uh, yeah the top end um, maybe has a bit you know too much um peak for me to um listen to so sometimes it makes some tracks uh unnatural to listen to so definitely that's one downside so you're getting that extension but uh, on the other side that peaks is a bit too much so actually um the peak here um also exists in the p1 and also the p1 and that's one of the reasons why i didn't put those iems in my top five so um it still has it here um unfortunately in terms of sound stage it's pretty closed in for me so not that big um separation um even if overall for me the presentation is a bit clean because of that faster presentation because of that smaller stage um the separation is not that um not as black and white for me so separation is not um that good for me overall in terms of the micro detail i'm um, very good here but because of that planar presentation the speed is right up there all right so um verdict so what do i think of the p1 max so first um this is the best p1 that i have listened to i like the tuning here overall i'm um, flatter bass and closer to neutral sound compared to other p1s so this is the most um, refined um, p1 that i have listened to so i did enjoy that bass of uh, my favorite planar bass that i've listened to so far however yes for me the mids and also the top end has some issues it's not a perfect um iem for me and because of that um this won't go to my top five but i would say i'm um, in terms of planar iems um this might be the best one that i've listened to yet here in this channel because of that bass because of that you know more same presentation however yes um in my top five i do have other ones that are more versatile in terms of the tuning and the better um top end as well less peaky so yeah um, this won't go to my top five but still um you know quite a decent planar pair all right so that's my take with a p1 max of course if you learn something um leave a like and subscribe for content like this in the future i'm actually looking forward to review more planars in the channel especially the seven hertz um timeless because i do i have heard of a lot of good things um on them and um there's some other planars out there that uh, i need to catch up on as well so um they might give better tunings of course that's my review for today of course if you learn something um leave a like and subscribe for more content like this in the future and uh, what do you think of the p1 max have you listened to them and what do you think of them let me know down in the comments below that's it for me thanks for watching and i'm gonna see you guys in the next mc Pulp review goodbye